I'm Lee Pacquia, and these are your Bloomberg Law headlines for the week. This week's courthouse shooting in Wilmington, Delaware that killed three and wounded two was the second such firefight so far this year. In courthouse, gun violence is on the rise. Courthouse shootings, bombings, and arsons have risen each decade since the 1970s when there were just 20 such incidents nationwide. We're on pace to exceed 100 incidents in the current decade, with 10 courthouse shootings each of the past two years. That's according to Steve Swenson from the Center for Judicial and Executive Security. Last week, Mary Jo White submitted her financial disclosures and potential conflicts in her bid to chair the SEC. As a partner at New York's Debevoise and Plimpton, where she earned $2.4 million last year, she represented corporate titans such as J.P. Morgan Chase, GE, Deloitte, and Bank of America's Ken Lewis. Her husband, Cravath partner John White, will take non-equity status to avoid any conflicts being a partner in his firm might create. He'd be Cravath's first non-equity partner. Finally, a holdout group of 125 retired Dewey and LaBeouf partners have agreed to settle with the firm's bankruptcy estate, Bloomberg News reports. They've agreed to give back up to $5,000 each in pension payments that the firm had made to them in the past two years. The firm's bankruptcy plan is set for confirmation on February 27th. That, of course, brings us to the question of the week. Should partners who retire from a firm before it goes defunct be on the hook for its debts? Let us know what you think in the comments. That's what we have for this week. I'm Lee Pacquia. Thank you for watching. See you next week.